the first thing that comes to my mind when I have to improve the performance of an SQL query is indexes, right? So maybe there's a way to add an index on a column and then make a certain kind of filter work faster. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. And you'll see how just by adding a filter, you dramatically improve the performance of a view. All right, so I'm going to use an application that I developed in a couple of videos uh, that I published before. Uh, you'll find the links to, to those videos in the description of this one. Uh, but basically, it's a Spring Boot application with a book um, entity, JPA, a book repository, and a book service. And it uh, has some lazy loading features that uh, you can see in action through a volume flow view that has just a grid. That's it. So this is how the application looks like, actually. So when you request it, you get um, um, a list of books there. Now, uh, we want to add a filter to this thing. So let me, actually, let's do it maybe um, over here. Let's create it. Let's create a date picker for that. Actually, let's call this <laughs> filter new date picker. And we can say filter by, we're going to filter by publish date this time. All right, now, well, let's add also this thing to the layout. Filter dot, let's add a, um, a value change listener. And now what we have to do over here is populate the grid. Now I'm going to do it like this copy pasting the code, you should create a method and, and then call the method from here and from here, right? But for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to leave it as is. And now we need to pass that date over here. So we want to, what's the idea? So let's say this uh, view is used by some kind of uh, back office uh, personnel in a company and they are not interested really in filtering anything but the day in which a book was published. So they want to see the, the books that were published in a given date. That's it. So, so they need this uh, date picker um, to select, well, the day. So we need to pass that value to the, to the, um, to the service, right? So we probably need to, I'm just going to duplicate the, this because we still need uh, this one here. So I don't, I don't want to modify that much code, so just let's create a new one, but we are going to override it by adding a new parameter here. Uh, what was it? I think it's local date. And that's kind of, that was kind of the, the filter. Uh, we can actually publish, uh, uh, change this to publish um, date. I think it was called over here, publish date, yeah. And we need to use it here, but the repository, it doesn't have anything like published date at all, right? So we need to create a new, uh, we need to type public here because it's an interface. We can create a new um, method that returns a stream of books call find by publish date. And now we pass the local date. We, we pass, pass the uh, publish date as a local date. All right. But we also want to do it like the same way we are supporting, um, supporting, um, where is it here? Supporting lazy loading, right? Um, through a pageable object. We want to do the same with this custom method here. So pageable. Pageable. All right, that's good. So we have the repository right now. We can use it here instead of find all, find by publish date, and we pass the publish date and a page request of page uh, and page size. Um, where else do we need here? Okay, so yeah, I made a mistake here. So I did this uh, the repository. <laughs> where is the repository here? So we have a look at the actual um, find all method that receives a pageable, it returns a page. So we need to return that. It's not the stream, but a 
page. There you go. Now this should compile in the service and it should compile also here. So everything is in order. All right. So we just added a filter. Let's let's compile the project. Let's see if this works. It should reload automatically. Right? Yeah. So we have a bunch of different dates. So let's say we're interested in the books that were published uh, yesterday. It's loading data. It's loading the data. It's filtering. It's a bit slow, right? It's getting a bit, just a tiny bit slow. Uh, <laughs> Um, but tiny bit, uh, I mean, really, really slow. So, all right, so we have all the books that were published on this date. Uh, so the filter is working, but it's not fast at all. In fact, you might think maybe it's because of uh, the fact that there is no lazy loading, but there is lazy loading. We implemented that in the previous video. So that, that part is pretty fast, actually. It's very, very fast. It loads uh, faster. Now, the problem, it seems, is with the filter. It takes way too long, right? So, the bottleneck here is a database. Or not the da database as such, not the engine, that is. So, I'm using MariaDB. I'll show you over here. And we have, we have, we have 200,000 rows in this, which is not a lot. Again, I'm going to mention this library again because I find it so cool that the library of Congress in the US has more than 170 million items. It's crazy. Uh, we only have 200,000 books. And let's say we want to compete with that one. We, are, we really need to improve this, right? So uh, we need to add something. What? An index. And we're using the publish date, right? So let's create an index called uh, maybe book publish bait index and then you have to say on what so book and we're gonna use publish date All right so but before let me show you something actually pretty cool so before we create this index which is going to solve the problem by the way um uh, spoiler alert <laughs> uh, let's explain this this query, right? So let me uh, run that. This is available also, uh, not only on, on, on MariaDB, but on MySQL. So when you go over here, uh, actually, no, it's, not, it's not what I want to explain. What I want to explain is this one, right? So we have the queries that, that, um, that JPA, we get rid of this, maybe of these, and even of that and actually let's format this so we see the whole thing we don't need the limit and let's make this work by adding some sort of uh, date right 2020 09 01 or whatever um, so if we add explain here to any query and we run this or is explain here uh, we'll see there's very little information here, but this is the one that I want you to, to notice. Type, which is also known as a join type, I believe. Anyway, uh, this is well documented, so I'm not going to explain all, all about it. Uh, but if you get all, that's like the worst thing here. <laughs> of course, it depends on the query. Uh, if it's a query that's not a, that, from, a, from a table that doesn't have a lot of rows, then uh, it's fine to, to query all the rows, to, to fetch all the rows. That's fine. But it's, that's not definitely not our case. So this is the, the worst thing we, we can get here for our use case. Uh, this means that the database engine will have to read all the rows. And we have, we had, uh, what was it? Uh, 200,000 rows. So it has to go through, through them. And if it was the Library of Congress, it will have to go through millions of items. So not that good, right? Uh, we need to improve that. We do it by just creating an index. So we're going to add this index, All right? And now if we go ahead and explain this query, 
we get a different thing here, ref. It's pretty good now. It's using the index that we created, which is uh, which is gonna help to to find because we are we are uh, filtering right to find the data that we need to return or the database need, needs to to return. So only with that, it's gonna be much much faster. In fact, we can run this this query here, and we should get the result immediately. In not not like in seconds. There we go. So it was just half a second, and we can see it here already. So let's pick another date. So it's extremely fast compared to what was happening before, right? You can see a date. We didn't even get the 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 bar over here that was uh, uh, indicating there was a, a a process taking time. So much 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 faster. So anytime you have filter. Uh, consider the the um, option of adding an index and be careful because it's not as easy as this I picked a very very simple example but if I, if we were trying to filter for example an author um, and, and that would require different kind of, of, of methods uh, it wouldn't be that as easy or if uh, we were filtering by year for example and we have the function year over here then uh, you could create the index on year published date but that's not the best way maybe there are better ways so be careful investigate the, the the topic indexes is something all developers should master in my opinion and um, there are plenty of resources that explain pretty well how indexes work in each database and and how you can um, take advantage of them all right there you go that's how you improve the performance of a vatting view by merely adding a very simple index in the database. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.